going to talk about the latest scams that are going on in their listing scams. And how does this affect you? Well, if you're the homeowner, it could affect you because people could be putting homes, your home on the market for sale. You heard it right. Your land on the market for sale, your buildings on the market for sale, and they could be <laughs> using your home, your land, your business um, to cash in on wire fraud. Okay. So it's absolutely crazy. So I'm going to tell you what recently had happened to me personally. Okay. And this is what prompted this. According to bank rate in 2022, real estate fraud resulted in victim losses of nearly $400 million. Check this out. According to Business Wire, the average loss is about $106,557. Okay, 106 grand, guys. Once a scammer it takes your money, it's gone. It's out. Most of the time, they cannot retrieve this. I want to warn you about this because again, it hit home. It hit home. Last week, I got I got contacted um, by a referral website, and they said, "Hey, we got this seller. They're looking to sell this piece of land in Westerly. They want to get between one two five and one five for this lot." Okay, now that's not uncommon in Westerly by the ocean. Okay, so I'm like, yeah, right away. So my average contact time is like two minutes. I call the guy right away. He picks up, and right away my spidey senses were tingling. Right, like my my I, I was like, huh, something's a little off here. Right, so I'm talking to this guy. The guy's like, yeah, I want to list my land for sale. He tells me a little bit about it. Um, but there are some red flags that were going on here. And I want to share this, especially with other realtors uh, about the conversation. So he's got this land. He wants to sell it. He's like, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get it sold. I'd like to get it on the market sooner than later. Um, you know, shoot me over your listing agreement. I'll look it over with uh, my partner and we like to move forward. Right. OK, sounds great. Right. Sounds normal. Right. But. I got off the phone and I'm talking with my colleague in the car and I'm like, what was off about that? And she said, well, I don't know. They just seemed a little too eager to, to, to get the property listed. And I said, that's right. So, of course, I send over a marketing report to them. I send over, you know, pricing, this and that. And I do some due diligence. And there's another red flag. So one red flag, they were very eager about listing it. They didn't ask about marketing. They really didn't care about that, which is very odd, especially for a high-end uh, property owner. The other thing that happened too, is I looked back in the records and I saw, Hey, they purchased this piece of land for two mil back in 2017. Why is this guy looking to dump this land for say 1.25? Why would he take a loss in a market that has only escalated in value where I could probably get the guy, you know, 3 million today for that same piece of property? Something is not adding up. This does not make sense. I then pulled, of course, the public records and I saw that the number that came in was an Oklahoma number. The guy said he was in Oklahoma. So I pulled public records and it shows that these owners lived not only next door to the land in in westerly but also owned a property in rye new york so we sent out certified mail we dug online we found some email addresses we found some phone numbers and we got a phone call within minutes and it was the real seller and she said yeah no that's not us thank you so much I can't believe that. So here's what would have happened if I would have listed that property for sale without knowing that and without doing those due diligence, okay? Number one, the most important thing is, is a buyer would have came in and they would have lost 1.25 million, maybe more. That property would have probably bid up. That cash would have been gone. You know, we were able to stop that. It felt good. I was able to help somebody. The lady said, I hope you didn't waste any time. And I said, well, it was, you know, a few, two, three hours of my time. But I was glad to be able to stop somebody from losing almost $1.25 or $1.5 million. And I was happy to help you out. So, hey, you never know who you could help out by doing the right thing. And you should always keep your eyes and ears peeled. Watch out for that wire fraud.